We've got really exciting action coming from one more in the next coming weeks, which entails the Labricks Gold Cup and the Labricks Summer Stair Classic, which kick off tomorrow afternoon. So I thought, what better to do than go through the card and try and make as many selections my winners as possible. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Coming up in race three is the Gold Cup Heat 1, over 480 metres. And I've gone with the locally trained Aaron Dunn runner called Aero Squeak in Trap 6. He has some lovely early, this dog, and he's got plenty of good graded form. And I just think that he can beat all of them to the punch at the first bend. Burn Church Mick is no joke of a dog. He's well proven at, at this track and um, has clearly won the Winter Derby. Heat 2 for the Gold Cup. I've gone with New in TikTok for Patrick Brown in Trap 6. He showed what he could do on first appearance last week in a rough battle versus the Derby Plate runner-up, Goldie's Perryman. And he, he stayed really nicely over the trip. It looked as if it suited him very well. He got out nicely and he, uh, he also took on the bend when he had the chance to, when Goldie's Perryman got caught up in behind over the third bend. Now, the only problem I can see happening is that Bambi's magic for Richard Reese is going to flash the lids and it's going to be all over because from what I can remember, I think Bambi's magic has shown four bend form before. And, you know, if you do anything on under 4.30 for a split at Monmore, you can consider your race done. But I think with TikTok's pace as well, he could potentially keep up with that. Uh, you've got the likes of Aussie Captain in there, who's well proven over four bends as well. Coming up in the Gold Cup Heat 3 is, for me, the main contender for the entire competition is Signet Ace for Kevin Hutton in Trap 3. The Superstar is on a four-win streak, posting 28-29s like it's nothing, 28-30s. The, these are the type of times that, you know, even top A1 dogs around one more are struggling to do. I wouldn't say struggling, but uh, are struggling to keep up with the calibre of dogs that are going around there at the moment. And that's not even his quickest time. He, he had a best show of 28.10 last week, and I think that somebody had said that he had recorded those type of times about a year ago. So to show that he's consistently doing that a year on is fantastic. And he's got lovely trapping ability, which makes him very hard to oppose for me. There's not a lot else in there that I could probably see him being contested by. If he does show the lids, he's going to be away and gone for me, especially if he gets it right out of the boxes. Romeo Top Gun's a very, very good dog. Won a, a tough open at Hove a couple of weeks back. And Old Fort Chicago's coming on miles with Kevin Boone. But I'm just going to have to stick with Signet Ace. Okay, on to the first Somerset Classic Heat, which is Mark Wallace trained Antigua Sugar in Trap 6. She's perfectly drawn, however she is without a look at the track. I haven't really seen anything as to whether she's actually had a trial there before, but it, it seems to me that if they did, if Antigua Sugar did, it would have come up in her form. It hasn't, um, but you know... She's just pure class from the recent juvenile winner. She clearly stays further than the 500. So she will she would have easily got the 480 trip here. And I think despite her not having a look where she's so ideally drawn in trap six, she can sort of see the bend round and slowly start to weave her way through and make her race. She knows where the winning line is. And I think Antigua Sugar is the biggest, biggest contender in, in the Summer Stair Classic. Now, it needs no introduction or explaining as to how good Warzone Tom is over four and six bends. And you can probably tell where I'm going with this in my next pick. But Liz McNair's trained runner over the, the 6.30 trip here has already had a sub-38 win here last year in July. With the 12.55 sectional on the day just proves how good he, good he can be and quick away from the boxes that he can do. I don't think he's unideally drawn from five he, he could probably do with going in a little bit further into the field however if he gets it all right at the boxes and clears them i don't think that anybody is going to be catching him on especially on this race here he's got a very tough heat mind that he's uh got crafty galactico betty's book on his inside 
Um, Coppice Fox and great name that as well has been uh, a superb performer for Gary Griffiths and has also been picking up decent 6.30 bend form. But other than that, I can't see any further than Warzone Tom. Moving on to race 8 at Ronmore, which is the Summer Stair Classic Heat 3. Almost lost my words there, but I'm going to be going with uh, a long-time follower that is Call Me Steve for John Mullins. Now, he's ideally drawn in trap 2. Um, last week, he ran out third between uh, Coppice Brewer, who's a very formidable stayer at the moment. And... Um, with his ideal draw, I think he, if he can get a level break, he, he should make all after that. It's um, a tough heat in that as well. Cooler Van Ianti is um, won big races at Romford. Russian Sammy is there and thereabouts in the, the final at, at Hove recently. Amaze Me Seb, I, I want to touch on him very, very briefly as well. He's going to relish this step up into distance. He's, um, yeah. I reckon he'll do very well over a six bends and um, hopefully we'll see a good performance from him on Tuesday. But for me, I think Call Me Steve's, Call Me Steve's going to learn a lot from last week's run um, and start to manoeuvre when he needs to. The well-acclaimed Ninja Kerry runner for Mr A Ballard and Mr B Sadler, as well as Belinda Green and co, is... Nothing short of phenomenal now. He's won a big Category 1 race. He's now on to his next at Monmore in the Gold Cup Heat 4. And I think with a perfect draw out wide in Trap 6, he's known for flashing the lids at Hove. Um, and he can definitely stay the 480 very well. He's got some tough opponents on his inside. Brookside Ritchie, who has been relishing the sprint distance recently, Havana Class has done a 28.07 in his recent outing versus Brookside Ritchie. And I think that was a 4.22 that I saw in his form. But even that, Whiting's New Era has been in, involved in uh, top final action over at Newcastle. Antigua Woof Woof has been in good form as well as early night here at Monmore. So it, it is a tough, tough ask of Ninja Kerry, but is well proven recently. And I think a lot of followers from those certain races will possibly be on Ninja Kerry as well. So for that reason, after beating uh, What's Up Eva in a lightning trial in 28.44, I think we'll come on a lot more than that and go a lot quicker. You know, if you can beat What's Up Eva, who is a class bitch, but by any distance, um, you, you've got a very good dog on your hands. Lining up in the blue tomorrow and hopefully joining the queue for the next round is Marta 1010 for Sharon Thompson. He's well drawn in trap two and he has already proven himself as a magnificent star for both the kennel and owners. He's off the back of a free win streak, which all three outings have been at Monmore, and he's got a 2819 on the card to boast. He has a, a strike rate of 58% for being in the, in the top two. And already, after 24 runs, has 10 wins. I don't know about you, but he has a very tough race here. He's got Moatine Mikey, who has been fantastic over the sprint for Angela Harrison. Sign Otis in three on his outside. And the Derby Plate runner-up, Goldie's Perryman, on his inside, who is also very quick away from the boxes. But however, on his recent outings, he's looked fantastic coming away from the boxes. And he is a big, strong dog, so he's going to man the bend if he gets there. And as well as that, kick on. So I'm with Master 1010 on this one. Lining up in the final Gold Cup heat tomorrow in race 11, I've selected Trap 1 for Richard Reese. What's up, Eva? Now, despite being denied the spoils of a decent trial last week to Ninja Kerry, the usual Reese Kennel superstar showed Ninja Kerry what was up by leading him from the boxes. Did a 4.29 sectional, which is phenomenal when you're going over the Monmore trip. And I think with a, a lot more a lot more dogs involved in the race, there'll be a little bit of trouble in behind at the bend, and that will lead her to kick on. Now, heading back to the Summer Stair Classic, we've got Heat 4. 
and uh, a very tough heat at that. You've got Chelms Cub, who's done some very quick times at Hove recently, but is without a look in Trap 1. Antigua Hope, is who is well known to locals um, of the open race circuit at Monmore. Magical Firebird makes his return as well, but I'm looking to pass that as well as Droopy's Biggie in Trap 6 for Angela Harrison. I've gone with Nighttime Danny, who was an impressive winner of his introduction trial at Monmore last week. Boasted a 37.96 and his abundance of staying ability just directs me to me picking him as my fourth heat selection. Now, I've waffled on a lot already, but we're finally in our final two races and heat five of the classic. I've gone with trap six for Kevin Hutton. That is Coppice Brewer. He is an emphatic greyhound that is coming on amazingly for his six bend running. He's quick away from the boxes, which in itself will, will win races. Um, he, he wouldn't even need to do too much after that. He's got low pressure in one, Dapper Rodney in two, Farney's Chloe three, Slapdash Tommy four, and Winterfield Duke in five. I, I'd probably say it, it'd be um, wrong to say on the other Greyhounds parts that is part of a, an easier heat, but I think just where he's such a, a fantastic dog over six bends, he's got 37.89 to boast, beating Bombardier. Um, you know, that's tough to do in itself. He's creating strong distances in, betwi in between uh, his other opponents, which means... He nestles in as my fifth choice for the Summer Stair Classic Heat. Finally made it to the final heat. Um, and it goes no further than another Richard Reese runner in Trap 6. I was really impressed with Coach East last week. I, I I didn't know what I was expecting. I wanted to to see how he was going to run first. Um, because he, he slightly found a bit of trouble recently over four bends. But the way that he moved and started to weave in between greyhounds uh, coming around that back straight it was just incredible and I, I think he's going to have a flourishing six Ben career but none other than the Reese Kennel hot shot I've gone with Cochise in the last so take from these what you will um, I don't know what price they're going to end up being or I haven't even taken a look at the anti-post prices either <clears throat> I'm not going to care to dabble in any of that to be honest because I think um, that just the sheer class of the the dogs that are involved this year for the both the classic and the gold cup is is phenomenal. Without further ado, enjoy your day, and we'll see you soon.